Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Despite a massive effort to hire more corrections officers, state prisons remain chronically understaffed. State senators put the corrections secretary on the hot seat Thursday. We're 2,000 down from 16,000. Now lawmakers are floating the idea of shifting nonviolent short timers to local jails. State Senator Bob Bradley wants to double the time people can spend in county jails from one year to two. We need to lower the number of prisoners um, that the Department of Corrections handles. Local jails would be paid, but that's been a problem in other states where sheriffs have turned incarceration into a cash cow. Uh, similar policies have con contributed to massive jail expansion. And is there more incentive to incarcerate more people by building more jails? Well, there is, because there's a profit motive. One fear being raised is that judges will sentence people to longer terms just to get them out of the local jail and into state prison. That is a unconstitutional system that is devoid of justice. Public defenders like the concept of keeping people closer to home, but they've stopped short of endorsing the idea until more details are worked out. If there was a jail with a really good work release program where people could keep their jobs uh, if they have to do a, a state DOC sentence, th there could be some major advantages. Sheriffs say they have about 500 empty beds on any given day. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.